Hey everybody, this is Dr. Perry from Stop Chasing Pain and StopChasingPain.com coming at you. And what I'm going to do is start a series of some informational video blogs instead of writing it down uh, in a regular blog on the internet because it's just so much information in one, it's easier for me to talk and I like to talk. Uh, I never kind of shut up when I start to talk about what I'm very passionate about and you know that's movement in general and of course the functional movement screen and the uh, selective functional movement assessment. Uh, the functional movement systems is, that we go through and uh, being an instructor with the functional movement screen and using it in the trenches for five six years here you know I've kind of much seen it all and <clears throat> when I go help and uh, do the labs and uh, get people uh, see them keep exposed to kind of the new paradigm of, of movement and what it involves you know it's very overwhelming I mean I tell them I've been where they are uh, years ago and sat in the same seat and had to absorb it all and Sometimes it's, it's hard to know to where to begin and you get really, really excited uh, to implement the strategies. And when you get it back into your place, your office, if you're a medical physician or a healthcare provider or in the gym, it can be a little bit overwhelming when you start to use it. So I'm going to go over a series of kind of success strategies that have worked for me in practice and using it in the real world. And if you duplicate those and implement them as well, I think that you'll have some success with them too. So. One of the primary things that I have people do is use the power of visual feedback with your clients. And I use video cameras, as you can tell, pretty much for everything. So I just went out and invested in a flip cam. And I usually tape uh, clients when I do a functional movement screen with their permission, of course. And I've never had anybody say no. And what that does is it really gives you a good representation of uh, how a client's moving because you can go back later and look at it yourself. But when clients do an exercise, they always think that they're doing it correctly or they really don't know how bad they are at movement. So this is a good way to film it and then show them afterwards exactly where they are and, and where they need to improve. But where it comes in beneficial a lot is when you do a retest. So when you screen someone later after implementing some of your correctives and you film the second one and you compare it to the first one, and break it out and edit it and put it together. So I split it one to one. So I'll have a squat one and I'll put squat two after it. And then I'll do inline lunge with inline lunge. So they're side by side. And it may take a little time to edit it up, but you know what? I mean, it really has a lot of value to it. And if you really care about your clients, you'll take the time to do that. It's a big eye opener for them because they can go, oh my goodness, you know, I never realized how bad I was because when they get good, they're going to forget how bad they were. So that's a reminder for them. And then also use that to your advantage if you do video testimonials or educating other clients. Ask your client if it's okay if you use that to show other people the changes and improvements that they have. See if you can post that on your website or your Facebook channel or whatever, or your YouTube channel. And then get a testimonial from them as well. So you have to use the, the power and advantage of helping people and changing their life but also using that to spread out and help other people. And go on out as well and then videotape them doing their corrective exercises as well. And you can even demonstrate to them and then have them tape you and then you can tape them. And even if you want to send them that so they can take a look at it and if they want to do the correctives when you're not with them, if you feel confident they're to that level, it's a great way to kind of get that personalized individual one-on-one -on -one interaction with that. So I can't stress highly enough the aspect of using video is, is an aspect of helping you get to where you want to go with a functional movement screen. It can make a huge difference. So that's tip number one and uh, I'm going to add probably about 10-15 more on here to, to help you. So feel free to give me some feedback on what you think when you start to use it or if you've got any questions. Since I'm an instructor, I'm here to help you any way that I can. You can always reach me directly through my Facebook page or my website at stopchasingpain.com and make sure you do check me out, check me out on, on Facebook because there's a lot of things that I post there that I don't post up on my website and uh, that's also under Stop Chasing Pain a fan page under Facebook and you can link out to all my other social media aspects as well and keep a look out too for the brand new website coming up through Ning it's going to be a kind of a social extrav extravaganza website so we can all interact together and share information that we're so this is Dr. Perry from Stop Chasing Pain. We will see you soon on the other side.